You've probably heard me say that we're on a near record low tornado pace this year, but to be able to say that I can't use raw numbers of tornadoes, I have to normalize because there were so few reported in some years distant past. Here's what I mean. Back in the decade of the 1950s, there were only about 480 tornadoes reported per year, and that number has risen more or less steadily over the decades to now more than 1300 are reported per year. So I have to adjust for that. Uh, as a fraction of what were expected versus what actually happened in terms of comparing one decade to another. Now we don't really think that it's a number of actual tornadoes has changed. It's been the reporting of those that has changed. Back in the 1950s, believe it or not, the main way that the National Weather Service got information about tornadoes was if they were written about in newspapers. They used clipping services. A lot of the weak tornadoes, they didn't get written up, so they didn't get reported. Now we have social media, video cameras, chasers, and all sorts of ways the National Weather Service can find out that tornadoes have occurred. So we think we're seeing a higher percentage than in the past. Now some research Researchers have come up with yet another factor that we can take a look at. It's population density. And here they've looked at rural areas versus urban areas. And in the distant past, a bigger percentage of the urban tornadoes were being reported than the rural ones. Makes sense. But over the decades, that gap has closed to now almost equal. And what these researchers think is that storm chasers chasing mostly out in those rural areas are adding extra eyes and they're seeing more of the tornadoes that previously went unreported. That's interesting.